Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Lucas and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my last episode of the first season of Terminal GPT, <laughs> where I wanted to finalize the behavior of Terminal GPT to look like is a chat GPT on your terminal. So let's go back here to the screen. I'm going to sh show you what I mean. So the Terminal GPT now, it works like this. You write hello world in Python and show you the, the code here. But the behavior on ChatGPT is a little bit different. So when you write the hello world in Python, shows like a, a introduction and then a code that you can actually copy. So I wanted to do that and I want to do this on the terminal. So I do a little research. I, I know we can do that, but there is something I have to do. So first of all, I have to fix the context that is showing this is not supported. I don't know why. So I have to uh, work a little bit on it. And then when I have some sort of like block quote or a block of code or something like that showing coming back from terminal from OpenAI, sorry, I want terminal GPT to identify this block of code and wrap this into a uh, in a different background and then allow to create a button where we can copy that code and be inserted anywhere. So the idea is when you wanted to actually see something like this. So for example, I wanted to, um, let's see, I wanted to refactor this guy here. I would like to do a refactor and then I can send the code. I'm going to paste here, of course. Yeah. And then terminal GPT would be refactoring the code. Of course here it's not perfect, but then you got the gist, you know, I wanted to do this in a way that we can uh, mimic the way that chat to BT does on, on the browser and wanted to do this on the terminal. That sounds correct. So yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing today. So I will be coding right now and then I will be back to you with my findings and if I could accomplish that on this final, on the season now. <laughs> okay, see you in a minute. I have some good news and bad news as always <laughs> so i was able to create the flow where we can copy and paste the code that we uh, terminal gpt is going to be returned to us so let's go back here to the screen i'm going to show you guys how it wor it's working so first of all i improved the prompt now so you see that's a bigger prompt here and now i'm adding context and prompt so now uh OpenAI is going to identify what is a context, what is the prompt that we're showing, showing that we're adding or uh, input into them. And then it's going to return to us a answer based on the context and the prompt. So it's a very, it's a more well-defined prompt to OpenAI. And now when you have the return of the text, so we return the text here and uh, it OpenAI or Terminal GPT show the text after the interval here. We're going to fill in the text into the terminal. And here we were going back to prompt to prompt again the, the chat to you. So now we're going to have this check block of code where we identify if there is any text between back, triple back ticks. And if, it, if there is, we're going to ask if you want to copy that code or not. So if you want to copy, we're going to copy that. If not, we're going to go back to the chat. So that's pretty much it that we are doing. So let's uh, clear here and then start again. So now we're going to ask here to write a function. Um, that's a function to add two numbers in Java. Let's see what's going to happen. And hopefully going to be bring, bring back triple tactic. So basically what is done now is um, we have these triple back ticks now we have this text inside it so we identify this text here we extracted this text and then now we ask if you want to copy the clipboard or not if you say yes it's supposed to copy but the library that i chose is not working 
so now i we will be back and select a better uh clipboard uh library that we can actually copy this uh this code to your clipboard but the functionality is there and the way it is working is there and uh i will end up actually the context as well improved as well so i'm gonna be putting the link on the description where we can go into um terminal gpt i'm gonna put forward a pull request and you can have a look and review it by yourself and then uh, i'm gonna be merging this soon and it's gonna be the new version of terminal gpt where we're gonna be have a improved context and we're gonna have the ability to copy uh, text to clipboard and it can is it has a base functionality as chat gpt already have and uh, i believe that's pretty much it for the season finale <laughs> And uh, I want to go back to all the proof of concepts I start doing and uh, I want to finish all the proof of concepts. So we're going to leave Terminal GPT for a while now and uh, maybe you're going to be back by the middle of the year. If you guys want more, uh, just leave the leave a comment down below what you like about Terminal GPT or what you don't like it, what you wanted to change it. And if you wanted to use, go to the link of the description of GitHub and you can use it as well. So guys, that's pretty much it. Tomorrow, I'm gonna come back with a different POC. <laughs> I can't wait to finish off this one. And uh, it's been it's been fun, it's been fun. All right, thank you very much. Thank you for, thank you for watching and I see you on the next one. Thank you.